everyone. I know it's been a long time, and uh, there are a lot of good reasons for that, uh, which I won't get into, but I will tell you that uh, the last episode we did, if you haven't seen it, you should, uh, had to do with a purchase that I made over a dozen years ago that uh, Mike followed up on research. Uh, I, I bought it thinking it was Audrey Hepburn's. And not only was it Audrey Hepburn's, but it was Audrey Hepburn's in Breakfast at Tiffany's. So we had an auction about six weeks ago at Julian's, and I'm going to tell you what the result is in a second. But before I do, I want to give you some updates. You know, those of you that like this channel like it for a multitude of reasons. You could either be vintage clothing aficionados, you like to wear it. You could be collectors or treasure hunters. I really want to emphasize the importance of following your passion, not just by acquiring beautiful things, but also educating yourself as to what you might be looking at. By going to museums, reading books, going to other vintage clothing stores, looking at beautiful things, seeing that they're expensive, and asking in a very polite way, why is this piece as valuable as it is? Uh, I mean, it's really tone and delivery. Like, why is this so much? No, that doesn't work. But um, if you educate yourself, you may surprise yourself in finding things that are 10 to 1,000 times more valuable than what you had to pay for. Why am I telling you this? Because I paid less than $200 for this Audrey Hepburn dress uh, a dozen years ago. I had a suspicion. There were all these clues in the garment. There, were, um, there was the Givenchy Haute Couture label, which that alone was a no-brainer. Um, it was a small size, and we all know that Audrey Hepburn was very petite. It had the Paramount markings on the inside and the date of the ensemble dress was probably between 59 to 61. So all those things, that was the road that led to my thinking that it was um, probably Audrey Hepburn's, but I had no idea it was from Breakfast at Tiffany's. So um, I just feel like that is, um, in my lifetime, a lot of the wealth that I've acquired has been because of knowledge. I'll give you a couple of more examples and then we're gonna go into talking about the auction. Uh, years ago, I had the great pleasure of seeing a collection of um, tribal pottery. Uh, and I saw um, tribal by Maria uh, Black pottery and Maria Martinez. And her pieces were highly collectible. Uh, I saw at Butterfields at the time in San Francisco, her pieces were going for several thousand dollars. Well, fast forward, maybe two or three years later, I was in an Art Deco shop in Milan, Italy, and on a pedestal was this black, what looked like an Art Deco pot, and I looked at it and turned it over, and it had Maria E. Santana signature. So it was a collaboration, and I knew instantly that it was her bowl. I asked how much it was. It was 150 euros or liras, I can't remember, and um, it was the beginning of my trip, so I had to put it in a box with bubble wrap, and I kept it in my backpack. Brought it back to San Francisco, which is where I was living at the time. Took it to Butterfields. They said, yes, in fact, it is a Maria pot. And it sold at auction back then for $5,000. So being educated in things that you respond to is a really, really good thing. So anyway, enough pontificating. I can do that sometimes. Um, I also want to mention that I am beginning the process of disentangling myself and letting go. Uh, happy to announce that I will be doing a single owner auction. That means everything from me at Julian's auction, November 16th, there'll be about 400 lots of pieces that you've seen on this channel. So everything from Hook Couture Christian Dior during his lifetime, uh, Christian Dior by uh, Yves Saint Laurent after Dior passed away, uh, lifetime Gianni Versace, uh, Paco Rabanne metal dresses, 
all a lot of the pieces that you've seen uh, in the show, but also things that have not seen the light of day. I'm letting go of these pieces for a multitude of reasons. They need to be seen by more than one person. They need to be out of boxes. So my hope is that collectors that loan to museums or museums um, or people that are quirky like me <laughs> um, will acquire these pieces and uh, they will move on to the next foster parent. The other thing I wanted to mention is in the process of my disentangling myself I am actually moving the inspiration room, which is next door. The boutique is going to be staying place. So no worries. If you're in LA, come and visit us here. But the inspiration room is filled with incredible treasures. October 5th through the 26th, for three weeks, I'm going to have a blowout sale. And when I say blowout, I mean blowout. There's going to be $25 racks, $50 racks, $100 racks. Um, and then racks with specialty items. Um, it's not going to be uh, um, online, unfortunately, because there's going to be hundreds, if not thousands, of items, costume jewelry, shoes, things like that. So if you happen to be in LA in that time period, absolutely positively get your tushies down here because there's going to be some really great deals. There's a lot of pieces that I've had for over 40 years, and it's just time for me to clear it out. So um, I look forward to hopefully seeing you, meeting you during the sale. And if you have any questions, message us either through the website or give us a call. But on to the major reason why we're doing this episode, and that is to talk about the sale of the ha Audrey Hepburn dress. I have no idea who bought it. Um, I'm very happy to let you know that the dress sold for over $150,000. That is kind of probably a once in a lifetime profit margin. <laughs> but um, I'm totally and completely thrilled and honored and grateful that um, I've gone through this entire process from purchasing to selling, and I wanted to share it with you. So I hope you like this episode. Um, we have dresses on the mannequins that are very Audrey-like, uh, very breakfast at Tiffany's-like. So if you're curious and are interested possibly in acquiring any of these pieces, please let us know. Otherwise, I'm um, hoping to be able to do an episode before the auction, my single owner auction. Um, but in the meantime, please be patient with me because there's a lot going on right now. And um, I look forward to seeing you next time. If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Be safe and be well. Thank you. <laughs>